I will talk about fixed manufacturing overhead. Let's use one example. This is the bow, and the product cost is $7 per unit. This includes direct materials $2, direct manufacturing labor $2, and variable manufacturing overhead $2. This is all per, per unit. So to figure out the fixed overhead cost, we suppose that budgeted fixed overhead cost is $110, and the normal capacity of production is 110 units. So the fixed overhead rate would be 1,100 divided by 11 units. 110 units is $1 per unit. So let's now take a look at uh, the inventory. OK, uh, suppose. Uh, the beginning inventory is zero, and the cost is zero. Uh, let's say the actual production is 100 units. So the production cost would be $700 in total, because $7 per unit. This includes direct materials $200, direct labor $200, variable overhead $200, and the fixed overhead $100. So the allocated fixed manufacturing overhead is one unit, $1 per unit times actual production units, which is 100 units. So that's the 1 times 100 equals 100. Let's assume that the units sold is 800. OK, uh, so there are 80 units sold. The cost will be. Uh, 560. So this is including direct materials 180, direct labor 160, variable overhead 160, fixed overhead 80. So $80 fixed overhead cost ended up in the cost of goods sold. So now let's take a look at the ending inventory. So the ending inventory will use the green color minus the pink color. So we have direct materials, $40, direct labor, $40, variable overhead, $40, and fixed overhead, $20. This is the cost sitting in the ending inventory. So as we mentioned, $20 fixed manufacturing overhead cost included in the ending inventory. OK, so uh, the production volume variance is calculated by normal capacity minus actual production units times budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate. So that will be 110 minus 100 times $1. So it's $10 unfavorable because the actual production is under the normal production capacity. So this variance cost will be added to the cost of goods sold. Thank you.